Welcome to Code Crafts. This is Mahesh Yuyane, and in this video, I am going to talk about some distance and similarity measures for fuzzy sets. In this video, I will be talking about some dissimilarity measures like Hamming distance, Euclidean distance, and the more generalized version that is Minkowski distance. I will also talk about various properties of distance measure. And in the later part of this video, I will be talking about few similarity measures like cosine amplitude similarity measure and maximum similarity measure. Let us start with uh, some distance measures. Distance measures are typically used to find the distance or the difference between two vectors or two sets. If vectors are identical, then the distance between them will be zero. And if they have a big difference, then the magnitude of this difference will grow up. The Hamming distance between fuzzy sets A bar and B bar is given as summation of the absolute difference of membership value of the elements. That is, h a bar comma b bar is equal to sum over i is equal to 1 to n mode mu a bar of xi minus mu b bar of xi. That means we have to take the absolute difference of membership values of all the elements and then we have to sum up. That will give us the Hamming distance. The Hamming distance for a given set is computed by taking the pairwise um, absolute difference of membership values. That is for x1. It will be 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4, that is 0. For x2, it is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3, that is 0 0.5. For x3, it is 1 minus 0, that is 0. And for x4, it is 0 minus 0, that is 0. So, total Hamming distance for these two sets would be 1.5. The relative Hamming distance is simply the average of Hamming distance. Set contains four elements, so relative uh, Hamming distance would be 1.5 by 4, that is 0 0.375. Euclidean distance is probably the most widely used uh, distance measure across different disciplines, including geometry, pattern recognition, machine learning, and uh, everywhere. The Euclidean distance between fuzzy sets A bar and B bar is computed as square root of i is equal to 1 to n mu a bar of xi minus mu b bar of xi whole square. So, we have to take the summation of squared error and then we have to take the square root of that. That will give us the Euclidean distance. For given set a bar and b bar, the Euclidean distance is given by 0.4 minus 0.4 that is 0 whole square, 0.8 minus 0.3 that is 0.5 square, 1 minus 0 that is 1 square and 0 minus 0 that is 0 square. So, the Euclidean distance between given two fuzzy sets would be 1.12. Minkowski distance is more generalized version of the distance. Minkowski distance is computed as dw a bar comma b bar is equal to wth root of i is equal to 1 to n mod mu a bar of xi minus mu b bar of xi raised to w. By setting different w's, we will get different kind of uh, distances. For example, if we put w is equal to 1 in this equation, then this will be simply Hamming distance between a bar and b bar. If we keep w is equal to 2, the equation will reduce to the Euclidean distance. By setting appropriate values of w, we can find out different orders of uh, distance between given pair of vectors. Distance between any two vector is always greater than or equal to 0 because in practice also distance can never be negative. So, d of a bar comma b bar is greater than or equal to 0. Distance measures are always commutative, that is d of a bar comma b bar is same as d of b bar comma a bar. d of a bar comma c bar is always going to be less than d of a bar comma b bar plus d of b bar comma c bar. That is considered a, b and c as three cities. So, distance between city a to c will be always less than or equal to distance between city A to B and that of from city B to C. And this is very obvious that difference between two identical vectors is definitely zero. Let us talk few similarity methods now. Similarity measures are typically used to find out similarity or the strength of similarity between given vectors. And typically these measures are used in pattern recognition and machine learning where uh, the comparison or the similarity of two vectors is quite important. There exist many methods for finding the similarity, but in this uh, course, we will be talking about two most important methods for finding the similarities between fuzzy sets. Let capital X be the set of 
uh, vectors x1, x2 up to xn, where each element xi in capital X is a vector of dimension m. So we can represent xi as xi1, comma xi2, comma xi3 up to xim. So ultimately, capital X is a thick matrix of size n by m, where it contains n columns, and each column is having it represents one vector, and the dimension of that vector is m. The similarity score between two vectors x i and x j is given by r i j is equal to mu r bar of x i comma x j. This is very generalized formula. Using cosine similarity measure, we can compute the similarity between vector x i and x j as given in formula. It is represented as r i j, which is equal to mod k is equal to one to m x i k dot x k j divided by square root of summation over k is equal to 1 to m x i k square into summation over k is equal to 1 to m x j k square. Numerator simply finds element wise multiplication and in denominator we are simply taking a squared sum of elements and then we are multiplying it and we are taking the square root. Max mean similarity method computes the similarity between vector x i and x j as uh, summation over k is equal to 1 to m, we have to calculate minimum value from corresponding elements from both the vectors divided by the summation over maximum value for the corresponding elements in both the sides. Consider the example where x1 to x5 represents 5 vectors. Uh, there are 3 sets no damage, medium damage and serious damage. So this could be the observation data of some uh, situation like flood or earthquake where the value in cell 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.1 may represent the damage in region X1. So X1 region has a no damage uh, membership value 0 0.3, medium damage membership value is 0 0.6 and serious damage membership value is 0 0.1. So probably Xi could represent the region, no damage, medium damage and serious damage are the categories and values in cell represents uh, the strength of those damages. We have to find out which regions are similar. So this could be useful for creating the clusters that which regions are having the high damage or which regions are having almost similar damage. As we know, distance between two identical vector is always zero and similarity between two identical vector is always one. As difference increases, dissimilarity measure will increase and similarity measure will go down. They are uh, opposite to each other. So R11 is equal to R22 up to R55 is equal to 1 because similarity between same vector would be 1. Let's proceed. Well, uh, let us try to find out the similarity score between vectors x1 and x2. So in this case, i is equal to 1, j is equal to 2. There are 5 vectors, so n is equal to 5 and size of each vector is 3 and hence m is equal to 3. Uh, from the previous slide, we know the equation for the uh, cosine amplitude measure that is Rij is equal to mod k is equal to 1 to m xik into xjk divided by square root of squared sum of xik and squared sum of xjk. Put the values of variable in this equation and we will end up with this formula by putting appropriate values that is in numerator we are simply taking element wise multiplication so that is 0.3 into 0.2 then 0.6 into 0.4 plus 0.1 into 0.4. In denominator, we are taking the squared uh, summation of uh, membership value in each uh, vector. So that is under root 0.3 square plus 0.6 square plus 0.1 square into 0.2 square plus 0.4 square plus 0.4 square. Uh, ultimately, that results into 0.836. Similarly, we can compute the similarity between any two vectors x1, x3, x1, x4 and so on. When we compute the similarity score for all these vectors, uh, we can represent it using in matrix and that matrix would be something like this. This matrix will tell us that which vectors are more similar and which are dissimilar. Looking at this matrix, we can say that vector 5 and vector 1 are almost similar because it has highest similarity score that is 0 0.982. If you look into the table, uh, we can see that the no damage value is 0 0.3 for x1 and 0 0.4 for x5. The difference is of just 0 
Similarly, the score for medium damage is 0 0.6 in both the case and score for serious damage for x1 is 0.1, for x5 is 0 0.0. So that is also just a difference of just 0 0.1. From the matrix, we can also observe that the vector 4 and vector 3 is having the minimum uh, similarity score that is 0 0.441 and if we look at the values in a given table the no damage score for x3 is 0.1 for x4 it is 0.7 so difference is of 0 0.6 for medium damage the difference is 0.6 minus 0.2 that is 0 0.4 and the difference for serious damage is 0.3 and 0.1 that is 0 0.2 uh, so this is very intuitive from given table also as well as it is easy to understand from the matrix itself that which vectors are similar and which vectors are most dissimilar. The same data we will be using for max mean similarity method. Uh, again the uh, max mean similarity between identical vector will be always 1. So R11 is equal to R22 up to R55 will be always 1. Let us find out the similarity score between vector 1 and 2 using max mean method. So the formula for Rij summation over k is equal to 1 to m, uh, the minimum value of corresponding element divided by the maximum value of the corresponding element. By putting appropriate value of all the variables, R12 would be like this. Uh, that is uh, minimum of 0 0.3 comma 0 0.2 plus minimum of 0.6 comma 0.4 plus minimum of 0.1 comma 0.4 divided by maximum value of the same pairs and that will return 0 0.538. In similar way, we can compute the maximum similarity score for remaining all the vectors that is x1, x3, x1, x4, x1, x5 and so on. When we put it into the matrix form, the final matrix would look like this. We can see that the magnitude of all these value is different from that of cosine similarity method, but the relative importance is not changing. What I mean to say is that if we consider the uh, score between vector 5 and vector 1, it is highest in this case also as well as it was highest in cosine similarity measure also. Similarly, the minimum score uh, using max mean similarity measure is between vector 4 and 3 and it was minimum for the similar vectors in cosine similarity method also. So different similarity method might give different values for the similarity, but the relative importance of similarity will not change. The vectors which are having the highest similarity will be always ranked high values and the vectors with the lowest similarity will be always ranked the minimum value. That's it for today folks, see you in next video. If you think this video was useful to you, then please like, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe the channel Codecrafts. Press the bell icon for the notification of latest videos. Stay connected, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.